Dogs can be a great addition to any household, but picking the right one can be a challenge. From big to small, high energy to low, dogs, different traits suit different lifestyles. So here to talk about this and choose the right dog for your family is Tegan Buckingham, public relations manager for the Toronto Humane Society. And it really is, I mean, it's not just, I mean, dogs are cute and you can't just go in and say cute dog and bring it home. You need to think about what your family needs are. Yes, 100%. So um, prior to getting a dog or adding a dog to your family, you want to think about what your lifestyle is, what type of lifestyle you want to have. Um, for example, are you an active person? Do you go running every day? Or do you prefer just to kind of relax on an on average day? So you've brought in a number of different dogs and a number yes. of different mixed kind of breeds. This yes. guy is what, he's a mix as yes. well. So this is Diamond. She is a, a Rottweiler mix. Yeah. Sweetheart. But uh, she is quite active. Um, she, their breed, their like Rottweilers were originally bred for herding. Yeah. So she's got a little bit more energy. Yeah, so yeah. If she would fit a family that has uh, time to time, exercise. Time this to dog. exercise, willing to go for one. runs. You know, sometimes property helps with that. Uh, if you go out, if you have a lot of property, yeah. <laughs> if you have a lot of property, throw a ball around. So can you bring the other dogs in as well and we can talk about some other, okay, so that's for an active family, that's the type of dog you need to know because it's, it's pretty high she energy. Would be a, she would be a good fit for an active family, yes. Okay, so yes. what if you have a smaller type of home, maybe condo, maybe an apartment. Uh, that would be good with a dog like Azul here. <laughs> <laughs> and what kind of breed is this one? This is a Papillon mix. He is also very sweet. He is uh, six years old. Um, so, but he, because he's a little bit smaller, his exercise requirements are a little bit less than mm -hmm. say, Diamond. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> so being in an apartment that makes it a little bit uh, easier on the owner. Okay. Um, it's hard to kind of because you don't have that backyard or and stuff like that. You really have to be um, aware of getting the animal outside for its exercise time. So you just have to be diligent about it. But it can it can be just fine in an apartment. Yep. Okay. Yeah. What's yeah. our I next mean, dog? Oh, our next dog. <laughs> <laughs> Tiberia is our next dog. Okay, and, and so for what type of family? Tiberia would be good for a senior family, what we're saying, but I mean, there are obviously we can't totally generalize seniors. Um, oh, this is not. Oh, that's Roderick. <laughs> this is but Roderick. Roderick can stay. We saw Roderick, Roderick earlier. I love Roderick. <laughs> this See, is he didn't Roderick. want to stay behind. Yeah, Roderick is um, a puppy, and he'd be great for a family with young kids. Puppies um, adjust very, like, they're at the stage where they're going to be able to adjust to yeah. anything, and small kids tend to kind of be a little tedious on some dogs. Yes, yes. <laughs> well, that, um, so that's a really they're, important they're point, though. With puppies, I mean, puppies grow into dogs. Yes, so we say yes, that, right? so 100%. You kind of know that. But um, but these are fairly no, known, even if this is a, even though this is a mix, fairly known for good family dog, like with yeah. kids. Yeah, yeah. So he's a lab mix. Um, he's currently just waiting on his neuter surgery, so he's not quite available yet. But um, given that he is a lab mix and that he is a puppy, he would be great for, like, a family that... When you get a puppy, mm -hmm. is it... Can you, I mean, should you always get it involved in obedience training or can you do it yourself? Um, I say it's best to look look into it anyway. Mm -hmm. We always recommend that you do go through some obedience classes because if nothing else, it creates that bond between mm -hmm. you and your dog. Mm -hmm. um, but, you know, I, I've, I've trained my dogs yeah, before. Yeah, of course, <laughs> you know, of course. It's, it's, so it, it, it depends on, oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Oh, uh, it well. depends on like what you're what you're looking for. Okay, right? we've got one more dog, but there's there's some business <laughs> going on on the floor, and um, it, maybe we can bring the other dog around the mess on the floor. <laughs> Careful, Shannon, because there's a big mess on the floor now. <laughs> okay, well, it's a puppy, right? Yeah, that's a, that is something that comes with a puppy. <laughs> so, can you tell me about this dog? There um, we what, what so this, this is Tiberia. <laughs> Tiberia would be a good fit for uh, an older couple that, you know, she is a great companion. She does like to be on your lap. She is one that does enjoy being up on the furniture too. So <laughs> given that she's been in a previous home, that was so something cute. that has been allowed. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Tegan, they're all great. Yeah. Uh, thank you so much for bringing them all in. Oh, thank you for having us. I agree. <laughs> These dogs and um, many other animals are available for adoption from the Toronto Humane Society. We'll have a link to our website.